All right, what is up, stream and baskets? <clears throat> Welcome to rounds three and four of Sabaro. Which matches are you casting today? Uh, round three and four. So That's every player is getting casted. Yeah. Summer. Every player is going to be casted. Um, let me take a look at who we're starting with, though. We're starting with Dragonstar Obadiah, then Ganji vs. Ink, Kami vs. Sito, and then round four will be Obadiah vs. Kami. Sito vs. Ink and Dragonstar vs. Ganji. So you'll see each player twice. And um, I think we're ready to just jump right into it. Yeah, do you want to pull up the score just real quick? Yeah. We can go over kind of where we're at. Yes, yes. I'll do exclamation mark score in chat. For viewers that want to tag along. And so obviously there's spoilers here, but um, I think. This will help you get an idea of what the current standings are. So, so yeah, yeah, go, go ahead. ahead. No, you okay. should do it. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like we've got uh, Sito and Obadiah, you know, kind of leading the race right now for one and two. Ganji, Ink, Kami, and even honestly, Dragonstar, they're all within three points of each other. Mm -hmm. So I think it's wide open right now still. I think Obadiah is kind of the with five points it's only one that was one match by the way right. five point game that was a um, win i yeah. think yeah um sato looks like he's got a pretty good pretty good stronghold on first uh, but i think second's still definitely open um i mean we still have 60 percent of the of the rounds to go here so we're gonna learn a lot from today um i'm i'm very interested in two things i'm interested to see what sato's gonna do right he's going to go for a little bit more conservative play um, I think he thinks he's one of the stronger, one of the strongest players in this pool. Mm -hmm. And so if he can kind of, you know, also team that up with some, some solid sieves, you All know, right. he can earn some, some medium points just to maintain that hold. Right. 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 And I'm really interested to see what like Ganji, Dragonstar, Kami and Ink do too. I think they're going to start um, being a little more aggressive with the sieves. I think so. Yeah. It'd be interesting if Sito um, even tries to go for the riskier sieves because he's so confident that he just wants to demoralize all the other players before <laughs> phase two, the actual tournament starts in yeah. full. Just to really assert his will. Yeah, right. Yeah. Um, what else? And Dragonstar lost two games, but he um, wasn't playing at his best. So I, I think we're going to see a strong showing him from him uh, this week. I think he was week. playing after 30 hours straight of being awake or something right. like that. Yeah, something yeah, he, nuts that, he told me. Yeah. So I expect a little bit more of him as well. Yeah. We'll see. But he's yeah. known for his crazy strat strats, um, as you may have heard in the interview with Brohio. You can type exclamation mark interviews and see all the interviews for that. So uh, I guess, yeah, we should be ready to jump into the first game, which will be Dragonstar versus Obadiah. All right, let me load it up. Um, let's see. And when you're ready, give us a countdown here and I'll... Oh, that's the wrong... <laughs> oh boy. I'm having overlay troubles. It's first game of the day. Yeah. It happens. First there game. we go. We're good. And... Got it. Alright, so um, I'm paused at five seconds or six seconds and I'm ready in three two one go so in the teal we have Obadiah playing as the let me get everything set up playing as the Cumans so recently buff Civ who is still at five points so Obadiah is trying to go with a big risky play in this first matchup and then in the teal we have Dragonstar playing as the Burmese I don't actually remember what we have Burmese at. I'm guessing it's I know, four. I'm literally looking that up. Burmese are four. <laughs> okay. okay. So not as strong um, on 1v1 Arabia, in our opinion, but um, still decent. I like this. So we're seeing here Obadiah, humans, they have that crazy boom. Uh, recently buffed, I guess, with the capped ram and Imperial Age upgrade. Mm -hmm. uh, or I'm sorry, Castle Age. Right. Hey. So maybe we'll see some Castle Age capped rams here. Uh, but they have that crazy boom. If you let them, they're they're very dangerous. The problem is, you know, most people know that and don't let them. Right. So 
you have to punish that that boom. That's what makes them a little bit harder here on Arabia as opposed to a closed map. And yeah. Burmese will get that, you know, we'll probably see men of arms here, right? They get that plus one infantry attack. Yeah. Um, I think what's interesting is Burmese don't really like to go up against archer civilizations. Mm -hmm. um, which is one of the reasons why they're rated a bit weaker, but Kumans isn't really known for their archers because they lack Bracer. They do have Kipchaks, which can be very strong, especially in Castle Age. Um, so if Dragonstar wanted to go for the Arambai, that might be a little bit of an issue, mm -hmm. since Kipchaks, I think, perform very well against Arambai. These are some pretty closed maps, though. Obadiah, I'm looking at Obadiah's first with that. I still have the color mod on, so that green, yellow. Yeah, I do too. Color here. Um, his berries are very easily defended. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he opted for a forward wood there a little bit, but that should be okay. You can wall that easily. Yeah. And if he, he goes for that second town center, he'd be able to hit that, or place the town center on that forward wood and the gold. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So I think a uh, fairly defendable position for him. Um, and then for Dragon Star. His berries are also very defendable. His gold is almost like, it's almost a mirror map with a gold just in between two wood lines, but still fairly close to the base. Dragonstar going for some deer pushes. It looks like he's got two in already under his town center, whereas Obadiah didn't bother. Um, his deer a little bit maybe further away, not quite, but he's going for the scouting approach. Yeah, Dragonstar pushing his deer being a little bit greedy. Um, both have hills in the back of their base, so mm -hmm. it looks like a little bit of, you know, I guess that could be pressure. Like yeah. Saw something like that. Um, the the C2 game. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. Man, that game was just really impressive with C2's yeah. control. That was featured in my top plays last week, just because I was so impressed with the level of skill those players showed. I, see you, man. I love this that uh, the, put a put a berry gather inside the barrier. Yeah, the trap. Okay. <laughs> Probably first popularized by Viper, but picked up by many pro players in the community. Oh, hey, Dragonstar yeah. doing a pump fake with the uh, the boar lure, but realized right away and did a double shot this time, so he might take a little bit more damage, but he'll be fine. He's doing the old googly lure there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with the mill, I feel, like <laughs> I feel like it's always a bad idea in case there's like archers or something. Right, like yeah. But yeah. I guess I, I don't expect humans to go archers. Usually it's scouts sure, yeah. in second town center. Yeah, what? 99.99% uh, of the time, it's yeah. completely fine. So Dragonstar's going to come to Obadiah's base, see the scout right away, and I think he's going to be driven off without actually seeing any information other than a wall tile get placed. <laughs> he sees yeah, that he's not taking right those, those deer. Yeah, the vill was there, perfect timing. And Obadiah, I think, is just going to track the scout and keep him from scouting as much as possible. Which I think is Obadiah's... smart for that. Obadiah is trying to wall that right side, but he still has that opening over by the two wolves. Oh, yeah. I don't know, I don't know what difficulty they played this on. But... <laughs> that could be, <laughs> right? Yeah. It's extreme. That might keep that wall open. Right, right. So Obadiah's up to the uh, feudal age first. Uh, let me get Vil count on the screen. So he's at 20 Vils. Um, that seems like a bit of idle time if Dragonstar is at 22. <clears throat> so long. Yeah, I don't know. I think these walls are really aggressive. I don't know if... They might be a little too aggressive. We'll see. I don't see anything coming in yet to, to punish him. Right. It's still pretty early. Oh. Dragonstar is going to a stone. Do you think he's going to try to FC Arambai? Knowing that FC, humans are yeah. probably going to boom and aren't going to have that much pressure. Try FC's to go for the Aaron Bay. Yeah, I think... I don't know. I think as humans you do want to go scout still and just have a mm -hmm. little bit of map control. Maybe you don't make that stable as early. Baskets might have his own opinion in the chat. Baskets always wants to go scouts. <laughs> yeah. I think it might be Man at Arm Towers. I mean, the stone collection is very early for Man at Arm Towers. Obadiah first went up to Feudal, and Dragonstar hasn't gone up yet, so yeah, I think it'd be too late for Man at Arm Towers. Yeah, this is definitely an FC. Yeah. He's already got his next bills queued up, as long as he's got the wood for it. I, I like the FC play. Mm -hmm. um, you're going to have to break in 
The town center's coming in already. He's put it on the stone. Interesting. I, I feel like I put it on that gold. Or yeah, whatever. I did too. I feel like that's kind of common to put it on stone. Um, I'm not sure why though. Easier to put the towers because you're playing defensive anyway. Yeah, that's true. You're gonna keep your stone secure. Maybe he's thinking, yeah. I mean, Burmese do have a solid men at arm towers um, set up. But the important here from Obadiah is he's committing six villagers to build this town center because it builds slower than a standard town center. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you're just wasting time. I think it's crucial there. And he does have his gold protected, um, so he wouldn't need to put the town center on that necessarily. We'll see how many. What's his FC pop at? 27? Yeah, so he should be easily able to get this FC. Yeah, and the Aaron by as well, I think. What is the stone count? He's at 350 stone right now. By the time he gets up to castle, he might not quite be at the amount he needs, but he always can redistribute once he's clicked up the castle. Right now the goal is to get that next 100 food. Um, Burmese with those lumber camp upgrades will actually help Yeah, too. right, right. Look at that wood he has. Yeah, he's, he's chilling on wood he's, now. He could probably sell wood if he's... Oh, he's, he's chilling. Yeah, he, he set this up almost perfectly. These guys are good at FCs. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. That's not, not too difficult, especially when they're... <laughs> They don't have any other military to worry about. It's just yeah. full economy at this point. One thing, though, to say about Dragon Stall's start here is that it is not crazy. An FC is like the second build order you learn. Right, yeah. What's up, Kami? I see you in chat. Kami, what's up? I'm interested to see how the Aaron by play comes off because I'm sh Dragon Star is definitely, I mean, both of these players are definitely strong enough to make use of um, such a potent military force like Aaron by. But it'll be interesting to see whether Obadiah can defend well or not, and how much his boom will pay off. Because Arambai shred buildings, right? He, oh, I guess Cumans have double the HP on their palisades. So where do you put the castle? Do you put it at home or do you put it forward? Hmm, that's a good question. Well, he knows, I think, that there is no military pressure for Obadiah, so there's not really anything that would stop him from getting up. I think it's really keeping it up and knowing that Cumans have capped ram in Castle Age and yeah. Arambai aren't gonna be able to stop cap rams. Yeah. Let's see, oh, he just, oh, he's going forward with them. Let's say he just put them all, um, gathered all of his stone. He's got 652, hey. he's going forward. All right, all right, all right, I like this. So yeah, you can definitely deny that wood line. That's the only wood that um, Obadiah is taking right now. So that will definitely impact him a bit, forcing the garrison. Um, what Kami says is it's funny to go FC on Arabia with no walls, and I agree. That's, but that is true. That is true. <laughs> when you're against humans, I think it's the only time that would be a sensible strat. And uh, I like the castle. I think it could have been a little bit closer to the wood line. And immediate siege workshop see after it. that. Oh, the he's gonna try to vill rush it. Oh no, tower. Okay, he did have that stone. But if he loses that town oh, center, that stone's not going to matter. I wonder how many tiles he saw. Uh, where are the quick walls? Yeah. These quick walls, uh, I don't know. Oh, he does have a second palisade there. Okay. So he's kind of given up a vill. But I'm pretty sure he's going to get this up. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I'm scared about this. No way. He doesn't oh, get this denied. Send him more forward. <laughs> I think it was just the tab. 75%. And that's why you go on, t on stone, I guess, huh? Well, you if you can debate the towers... Oh, uh, I don't think so. No. Yeah, I think you got greedy with the siege workshop immediately, too. Assume no one would see it. And the scout even yeah. coming back. <laughs> well then. <laughs> yeah, I agree, Kami. I don't think this game's lasting long. <laughs> Jagged Star, no. Yeah, I thought he could have put it a little bit further back. Um, yes. Yeah, so is that why you go on stone so you can prepare for that? I guess. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna wall it up. Just, uh, yeah. Like these villagers can't do it either, but I guess he does have to commit because there's nothing else he's doing in this position. Yep. Well, do we fast forward? <laughs> no, I think we're okay. What's, uh... <laughs> what like, he's not even fighting back against the scout. He just wants to get this up. 
Yeah. Does he have bills at home still? Yeah, they're garrisoned <laughs> in a town center. Oh, <laughs> oh, the castle's up. Okay. I thought it was at way lower percent, but maybe you got a... Uh... I don't know. So the villagers are going to go back to work. Oh, he did lose a few. Alright, so you wanted the dragon star craziness. You got yeah, it. yeah, for sure. Like, now, how does he come back from this position? If we look at score, it looks like he's dead. But he does have a castle. Kuman's still not up to castle age. Yeah, but no castle age, no military. And the air, two air by out already. And honestly, he's going to lose that TC, Obadiah is. Yeah. So, I mean, if you can get the... Uh, all he's going to do is micro. Just micro some... Some villagers to beat down <laughs> stuff. Uh, I like this uh, having the air by right next to the tower. I think you just gotta go in. Yeah, just but I, I yeah, that's the thing. Cumin walls generally have the extra HP, but if you uh, if you just break down your own walls to rush down a castle, your opponent doesn't need have to worry about breaking through the palisades. Another siege workshop coming in. Yeah, I wonder if he deleted that or got denied originally. He's got a chance. He definitely has a chance. If he can go in there and get... There's 18 villagers on that lumber camp. There yeah. you go. Get in. Right in there. And so uh, Dragonstar got his buildings and he was ready to click up. He had no scouting earlier, so he didn't really know where the town centers were. He took a bit of damage there, and oh. he's a bit slow to react to the villagers, but he's getting plenty of pickoffs. So let's yeah. look at the vill lead. We have 55 for Obadiah and 23 for Dragonstar. Dragonstar really needs to make these count. Yeah. And so far he's, he's doing be, it. He's gonna be, as long as he doesn't run too much at the castles or into well, town centers. Because that TC is definitely going to go down. That's true. Okay, I like this. He's just. I missed some of the villagers, but. Um, yeah. Obadiah go under 50 villagers is the question. Obadiah snuck one more villager out, and it looks like it's going to stay alive. Everybody just don't have enough. Um, Don't have Obadiah enough. sixty percent up to castle age as well. I mean, Kami's already calling it for uh, dragon start. Dragon wins now. I mean, yeah. it's so hard. How would he not? But the what are the bill counts again? That's the whole thing. That's Obadiah's. Fifty-one to twenty-six. Now. Yeah. He's got twice the bills, but they're gonna die. That's the and thing. They're... What military does he do? Does he go for monks? Once he gets up. I think you have to. He's under fifty now, so dragon star is definitely doing work. If we looked at the KD, it's 19 to 21, so it's about even. Yeah. It's just the Kumin built boom versus the fast castle. All you need now is six uh, Sito Mangadels. Yeah. And you win, I think. You're <laughs> right, the Sito Mangadels. <laughs> That's gonna be a kind of thing. I thought Dragonstar was gonna take castle, his stone as well. I like how Dragonstar only has one forward vill as well. Like, there was only one vill left, I think. Look at that castle. That, oh, this is... Yeah, I don't think uh, no, Dragonstar can see that. Yeah, Dragonstar yeah. doesn't see it. The castle's gonna He's going to lose out. a lot on the wood, though. So it's going to be Kipchax versus Arambai. And I favor Kipchax, but there are Mangonels out. Um, and Dragonstar taking a lot of unneeded damage. Oh my god, look at this. But that's man. so many dead bills. Yeah. <laughs> and now the bill <laughs> count is 29 to 37. This oh boy. <laughs> First game of the day, boys. Yeah, I wasn't ready for this. I would have hyped it up way more. Alright, uh, uh, the bill counts. Okay, now Obadiah is still up five. It's only it's five bills. bills. It's from two, two times the number of bills to five bills. Oh, that's crazy. That TC is going to go down. Does he have stone? He's got a market. So we could buy it. Yeah. He had. Um, oh, wow. Obadiah is kind of strapped for resources now. He's five bills ahead still. Let's see if we can make so, that count once you have no TC. And so the goal here is get enough wood and gold so you could get enough gold so you could buy 100 stone. So you can buy 100 kip checks. Oh man, this is. Let's see what this micro is like with these kip checks. Yeah, I think if Dragonstar or Obadiah kills the Ford villagers from Dragonstar, he's in a very good position. But I think Dragonstar recognizes that. Not a very good position, but a much better yeah. position. <laughs> Like, it's a big swing if you kill the Ford Villager, if the Ford Villager can't be repairing Manganels. I like Dragonstar prioritizing the market. That's what Obadiah is going to have to rely on a lot right now. Yep. Especially with and no town center. <laughs> so without the market, now he's going to have to get another 175. Um, 
wood just in order to be able to get 100 stone. So still no TC. Yeah, but he still has to buy it. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. So he's got to buy it. He has to build another market just and to buy it. I think he's going to lose awesome. the build high here. Yep. Yeah. They're tied now. One oh, more yeah, bill no and they're dead. Yeah. <laughs> Can't replenish now. Dude, we almost... We were like, oh man. It's yeah, I was ready to call it. Yeah, we were ready to call it. We'll just turn it off now. <laughs> oh man. So, okay. How can Obadiah win now? Alright, yeah. So let's not call it for anyone because obviously we're wrong. I think if Obadiah gets some crazy Kipchak micro... Um, but at home, Dragon starts on two TCs now, so he's really going to make the Vil count work. Yeah. And Kipchaks are going forward, so two Kipchaks do damage in this situation. They can hit on stone, they can hit on the back wood. These oh, farms man. look nasty yeah. from Dragon, or from, yeah, from Dragon Star, but everything else looks ready. pretty standard. I was not ready for Obadiah to go forward like this. I think it's the only thing he can do. He doesn't want to have to try to micro against Meganels, even with Kimchak's zero frame delay. Yep. Oh, the so Aaron Buyer again on the wood line, but at home. Oh, the Kipchaks aren't even one-shotting the villagers. It might just be because of inaccuracies. No, they don't one-shot. That's way weaker than I thought. The Aaron Buyer doing absolute work. The Meganels are trying to sleep by the castle. I don't think it'll work. Kipchaks are home, found the wood line. They're gonna sit on that hill. Oh man, there's so much to cast. Yeah, those Mega Elves cannot pass by. And yeah. um, okay, so... Dragon Star's cleaned up at home. Yeah, so Obadiah, or Obadiah is... I mean. Obadiah is now comfortable at home. And he's and... rebuilding his market. <laughs> Dragon Star. Oh my god, this is crazy. Dragon Star has 13 more Vels because Obadiah doesn't have a TC to create Vels. He's building a market. Okay, so he's gonna build a market. He's got the gold for the stone. So we will we will soon see. I think Cammy just gave me my uh, YouTube thumbnail. One TC in Dark Age, two TC in Feudal, zero in Castle. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. Uh, See, so yeah, I like this Kipchak pressure. Um, Aaron Bayer coming back now just to defend, but the Kipchak are just so fast. Absolute speedy boys. Yeah, I mean, this game is... Micro's not terrific, but it works. This game's had a crazy start. Where do you... I mean, it's kind of stabilized, right? Okay, never mind. Yeah. This micro is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have Kipchak's hanging out. So I think Obadiah's really working on his eco, which makes sense. That is what matters at this point. Where is he going to drop a town center? He's going off to the left side. Interesting. He's just... Oh, man. Opening his... He's just migrating left at this point. Obadiah went forward with a villager to drop a siege working shot. Get some cap ramps out, but now coming back. <laughs> I didn't see where it went down. Oh, there's a big onager shots against the Kipchaks. Kipchaks, I think, should do very well against Meganel. Sorry, not onagers. But do they have Bodkin? They do have Bodkin. They have no defense upgrades. And they yeah, only have 40 know. HP, so they're I not the strongest units. The are. Yeah. They were crazy good, but now yeah. they're just... You just know. really need okay. to mass, and yeah, I, I do think it's just okay. Oh, don't stay on the hill, don't stay on the hill. Ooh, that's some ugly that's shots. Oh, man. So that's, his one TC is over here by the Golden Wood. Yeah, right where his Kipchaks were. I guess he's yeah. trying to defend them, but um, Obadiah, who's, or Dragonstar, who's just uh, trying to pressure, he's going to find the town center, and then we have another one going up. So really committing to that 2TC Cumans play. So we... <laughs> How does he come so back into twice, this? So we had twice the bills at one point. Oh, yeah. I had twice the bills to Dragonstar. Oh, and man. Right now, Dragonstar has twice the bills to Yeah. Obadiah. That's nuts. Like, the only way I think Obadiah gets back in this is if he gets another castle drop back on on, Ob or on Dragonstar's two TCs in the front. Right, right. Like the counter... The counter the castle? Counter. Yeah. Uh, the counter counter castle. So he's going for a siege workshop against the Arambai and to match the Manganels. Very, very much needed. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, if Obadiah had just finished the walls on that Ford castle before it was fully built, he would have this game. He just had to build gates instead of palisade walls. 
and I think it was totally doable. Beautiful Kipchak micro now. Obadiah is obviously happy with his eco enough now, or knowing that he can't let this town center down. So he's microing the Kipchaks. Um, trading seven fairly Kipchak. evilly against Arambai, even though he's behind. Yeah, seven Kipchaks shot arrows at that one vill, and he's mm -hmm. got six HP left. Yeah, hey. they don't do enough damage. Yeah. Four plus two versus the Arambai 17. Like, it's nuts. <laughs> the difference. And the Arambai get 20 HP more, too. Like, they're fast, but... Up in fights when you're not raiding, it's just so hard. And yeah, now the Fordville goes down. Ooh, beautiful attack ground here by Dragonstar. Obadiah just barely missed it. The last second recognized. And there's the end of the game. All right. I wonder if they had fun playing this game or if this was terrible. I don't know. I think Dragonstar I think had fun. <laughs> yeah, I was just going to say that. Dragonstar definitely had fun. I'm wondering if Obadiah was tilted because he had the game. Once that he he stopped that castle yeah. the first time, and then Dragonstar came forward and finished it off. What a game one for today! Crazy. All right, so let me update the scorecard. That's awesome. Let me know if you can hear. Uh... I hear Frimba. I don't mind though. It's very quiet. Okay. <laughs> can we get a high Frimba in chat? Yes. Yeah, I need to get a Frimba emote. It's gonna be a baby with a scimitar, or I don't know what the actual term for the weapon is. Yeah, Ob or Dragon. Oh, Obadiah fighting on. I was thinking Dragonstar fighting on showed persistence there. Um, I think both. Yeah. All right, well, that was a fun game. I'm like glad I think, we started out with that yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I was a bit more hyped. That would be easy YouTube content, but um, I know. <laughs> <laughs> look at the change in the timeline. I've not seen a timeline this this drastic before. Wow. But I'm glad that Dragonstar is getting some points. <clears throat> yeah. On, on right, his, right on his score it, sheet. Yeah. yeah. He is up on it, and Obadiah had the strong five point lead from um, rounds one and two. But now he might just be middle of the pack. We'll have to see with the next game. So 